Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this lesson, I'm going to show you exactly how to create the landing page that you see right here using Squarespace. Um, we're going to collect email addresses right here that will go directly into the MailChimp email list you created in the last lesson. And then this is also going to link to a page that will allow your fans to download a free print as an incentive to sign up for your email outlet your email list. Um, I created this tutorial to hold your hand through the whole thing so don't worry if you're not tech savvy. Um, it won't be any problem. Just follow along with me. Um, be aware that this project will cost $12 a month if you are willing to pay annually or $16 a month otherwise. But that may seem like a lot, but when you decide that you are ready for a website, you are not going to have to pay anything else. This is going to be encompassed in what you are paying for your website. And $16 a month, I can tell you, is dirt cheap for a good website. So, um, a landing page, what we're talking about right now, is kind of like a mini website. It's a, a single page that you can send people to that will encourage them to sign up for your email list. Um, it doesn't have a menu or a navigation bar. There are no links to click. The only thing that they can do is join your fan club. So it makes it really easy to get a higher conversion rate when people aren't getting distracted. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Squarespace and hit Get Started. And it really doesn't matter what template you choose at this point. Um, you can always change it. And it's really not going to make any difference because um, we are just creating a landing page. But I'm going to choose Wexley because I like it. Hit start with and then it will want you to do your name and email address and password. I already have an account so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Now, my website is on WordPress, as you can probably tell if you know anything about websites, but WordPress can get pretty complicated. It takes a lot of updating, and you have to pick hosting, and yada yada. So Squarespace is really easy. It's all in one. Anybody can do it. You really can't screw it up. So this is what I recommend for people that haven't done something like this before. We're going to choose Art and Design, and we want to showcase a portfolio of our work, and then we're going to put our business name, and then you come here. We're going to click on Pages, and we are going to create a page that is not linked. If you remember, I talked about not having any navigation. So that is why we're choosing not linked and we want a cover page. I'll just put landing page right there and click on it. And then this is why I said it doesn't matter what layout you choose because we're just going to choose a different layout for your cover page or landing page. Squarespace calls it a cover page. So we're going to pick flash to make the example that I made for you. And it looks a little bit different here because um, Squarespace is a responsive website. So like on your phone, the picture is going to show up on top and the text on the bottom. Or if you go full screen, it will be on the side. So don't worry too much about that. Just let it do its thing. Hit save and back. And then here we are going to write our website name again. Free print. And then here I've actually created all the text that you need for this website. I will link it to this article. So you can just copy and paste. Make your life really easy. And then save. Back. 
And then we are going to go ahead and add the image of the print that we are previewing for them. Uh, we don't want that image to be a very large size because then they just be able to grab it off the front of the page. So I'd recommend uh, 72 DPI. And hit save and back. Now we are going to create this button right here. So we're going to, it's called a form. Don't mean to confuse you. So we're going to delete everything that they have there. And here we are going to put join my fan club. And edit the form. And then here again. Okay, so some people recommend only having an email address. Uh, some studies have shown that you get a 50% higher sign up rate if they have to enter less stuff. But I like to be able to connect with my audience, so I want to at least know their first name. Um, this requires first and last, so I'm going to delete this. Add another field that just says text and put first name. I'm going to make it required. And I'm going to move it to the top. So we've got first name and then email address. Like I said, you don't have to have first name, so that's up to you. That's a decision I will let you make for yourself. Uh, here you can type in your email address and click connect if you want to be notified when you get new email subscribers. But what we're doing right now is just going to MailChimp. So I'll go ahead and log in. And then it will want you to choose your list. Click Save. And then, oops, we forgot to add our text. Okay, so for this post submit message, we want to thank them. And then I think it's always a good idea to offer them more ways to connect with you. So right here, I can add a link to my Instagram or my Pinterest. I'll just show you how to do that. You highlight it, edit link, and then type in I don't remember what it is, but you know, something like that. So once you have your link here, hit open a new window, and then you've got it. I just put these little markers here so you know to add links or change text. Like here, each month I will let you know where you can find, and then you're going to put what you're going to be emailing them here. You can steal what I wrote or uh, make up your own. We're going to come back and add this in a little bit. Obviously, change your name. Hit save. Okay, so now we're going to save this back. Just to give it a little bit of style, I'm going to go ahead and change this color. If you highlight here, it will go ahead and choose that text, and then you really don't have to do anything else except pick the color. And then we'll go ahead and change this one too. Actually, let's go back. We can copy this. Click here again. And then paste. And it will use the exact same color that you had up there so you don't look like you don't know what you're doing save again. Okay, now we need to create the page for your free print. So we're going to do one more not linked page and I'm going to write free print. Again, we don't want this one linked because we don't want people to go to your website and then just click on free print and grab it. So blank, start editing. And again, for your free download page, got the whole thing for you right here. Click, 
and paste. And then I'm going to change these to heading one. It just makes it a little bit more readable. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our image here. Now here's where you want to use your high resolution image. Um, if you promise them on the front page an eight and a half by 11, make sure it's eight and a half by 11, uh, 300 DPI, something that they can print off that will be high quality. And then I'm going to move it over to the side here. So hover until, well, let's see if we can get it. And then if you want, you could add something like, thank you for subscribing and save. Okay, now we're going to go back to our free landing page or our, sorry, our landing page. And we want to go back to our form. We're going to highlight this and then we're going to link it to our page that we just created. You can hit content and landing page and it'll just go ahead and add it in there for you. Okay, so we've got one more thing to do. We want to delete all of these. So if people somehow randomly end up coming to your website that you didn't send them to because you're just sending them to your landing page right now. Uh, we want to have something that says your site is under construction. So, you know what, it's not going to let me until I add another page. Home. And blank. Start editing. And then for your coming soon page, I'm just going to add this. Let's go ahead and make this heading one. And then let's go ahead and add a picture of the image that we want them to want to go grab. I'm going to put this, I don't know, on the side or underneath. And then here, we're going to link again to content and landing page. Get rid of these little guys. And then we are going to set that as your home page. Go all the way to the bottom, set as home page, confirm, and save. And then we can go ahead and delete that. And then you know what? You are all done except for making it live. So now we are going to go to settings and then domains. If you have a domain, Go ahead and click this one, otherwise we're going to get one from here. They charge about $8 a year more, totaling probably, I think it's about $20 for a domain on Squarespace instead of 12 but you don't have to figure out how to link it, and um, it just makes it a lot easier. So I already own that, so I could do just gratifart.org, or I could say Art by Jessica Craddock. I might own that one too. <laughs> okay, so anyway, just pick one that you like. I recommend using a .com or .me or .co. Um, any other ones are pretty obscure. So just click on the one you want, add it to your cart, and it'll check you out, and then you will be good to go. I hope this was helpful. Thanks. Bye.